Well, yeah, no, I think there's a lot of, look, there's a lot of self-proclaimed marketing experts out there, you know, and, and, and <laughs> but, but there, there's a lot of them that will get put into this position and just because, you know, they, they knew how to Instagram, like that was an action, not just, you know, or, or they knew how to Facebook, you know, it's like some, for some reason that justified them actually having some type of manage, uh, you know, in a, a role or managerial uh, position as far as how a dealership should, should spend their, their ad spend or their dealership marketing efforts, which is kind of ridiculous if you really think about it, right? I mean, I didn't come out and really call myself a, a true, you know, digital expert, you know, until 10 12 years of just physically doing it myself, you know? And yeah. I mean, I mean, really doing it myself. I mean, literally I was the one doing the creative. I was the one, you know, logging into ad accounts. I was the one deciding the targeting parameters. I was setting the budgets. I mean, literally all of it, I was physically doing myself to the point where now then I felt comfortable enough that I could start teaching others and ultimately end up creating a business around it as well. Right. Um, but it's, but it's not necessarily the dealerships, it's not necessarily these people's faults as much as the dealership's fault. Because not like a lot of times we'll do is we'll create a position, stick them in the position, and then provide them actually no training or development efforts. Well, that's, that's the case. And, and wouldn't, wouldn't you agree? Because I, I have no problem telling uh, my dealers, if you hire this person and you bring them on, it's exactly what you were just saying. What are you going to do for training? Are you going to send them to a digital dealer? Mm -hmm. Are you going to send them to driving sales? And, and every one of them says, oh, no, I'm not going to never spend the money on that. This is just a $36,000, $48,000 a year position. Like, why would I do that? Well, because how is that person going to have any kind of effective communication, you know, with guys like yourself or like mm -hmm. myself or, or, or anybody? And I mean, just, just yesterday is an example. Um, like, I remember uh, the CEO from AutoNation in the States a couple of years ago. They spent a million bucks on the research proving that your worst call to action or one of the worst is book a test drive. Nobody does it, but I've got, sure. but I've got the new, I've got the new digital coordinator, you know, at, uh, at my, at my one store. And it's like, Jim, I know you said that, and I know you've quoted AutoNation, but I don't think that that's right. And I think that it's like, well, I mean, that, that, that's okay. okay. Look, if, if they want that to be their goal and objective, that's fine. Well, let's make it their goal and objective, right? You know, um, the, I, I believe one of the biggest reasons that people don't actually fill out the test drive form because there's no value. What, what, what possible value is there to the consumer to fill out this test drive form? We literally just put the form out there and assume that the word saying schedule your test drive is sufficient enough for the consumer to actually want to fill out the damn thing. Yep. But there is. If, if we can actually create some real value around scheduling this test drive, guess what? People will do it. We covered a bunch of great topics today. What stood out most to you? Be sure to let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the post and share it to keep the conversation going. You can follow Jason on all social media platforms by following Strategy with Jason. You can find him pretty well everywhere you can share content. I hope we were able to get you thinking. And until the next time, this has been Nathan with Digital Dealership Solutions. Have a great day.